Hello everyone, I'm going to do a quick review slash uh, after unboxing review of the uh, DJI Mini 2 drone. I purchased mine last week. Uh, I didn't go through Amazon with this. I ordered directly from the DJI website and the reason for that is because I wanted uh, the unit to have the latest updates. If you order from Amazon, you never know how long those units are sitting on the shelf so you might have to go through several firmware upgrades with it. Um, mine was received uh, about three days after I ordered it and I only had to do one firmware update on the unit. That's on the drone itself which is sitting right here. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail on the specs. You can go on the website itself but I will talk about just a few of the specs that I was really impressed with. It has three video resolutions, uh, 1080p up to 60 frames per second, 2.7K up to 60 frames per second, and 4K up to 30 frames per second. It has five quick shot modes. If you don't know what that is, you're not alone. I've seen some videos on what these are. These are automated type things you can do with the drone. Something called Drony, Helix, Rocket, Circle, Boomerang. And I'll test these things out as I become more familiar and comfortable with this drone. Uh, if you want to take photographs with this, it'll take uh, JPEGs and uh, RAW. In the RAW mode, you can manipulate the color grading on your photos in post. Uh, the video format is MP4. Uh, it does have the uh, flight intelligent battery. It also has a micro SD card slot and it supports from 16 gigabytes up to 256 gigabytes uh, in a micro SD card. And I highly recommend that you get the SanDisk Extreme. So what you see in front of you is everything that I ordered. This is the DJI Mini 2 Fly More kit, which means that I get extra batteries and a battery charger. So let me start from the left, working myself to the right. It came with a very nice case. This case is solid and plenty of room in there. It's compartmentalized. You can put your drone, your charger, extra cables, and even more in there. And uh, that's really well made, very high quality there. Here's the drone itself. It's very lightweight. It's uh, 249 grams. That's with the uh, battery loaded in it. And it has this nice strap and also has a lens cover. To unwrap this thing, it's very simple. You just flip it over and there's a little clip here. You just undo it and unwrap it. I'll set that aside. So this is the front of the drone where you see the camera and this is the rear of the drone. On the rear of the drone you have a slot there for your micro SD card and I have one inserted in there. It is a 128 gigabyte micro SD card. and you have a USB-C here for charging. Or you can connect it to your computer and download the data or files off of the card directly from the unit. Now it's very easy to uh, unfold. Now when you receive this, uh, you have stickers all over the place. They're very easy to remove. You'll, you'll see them. At the bottom you have two sensors and what this does as the the drone is coming down, it senses the ground. And so it will never come down hard and crash. It will sense it and it will hover. So that's what these are for. It doesn't have sensors on the top or on the sides, but only on, on the bottom. These are cooling vents. Um, the batteries uh, do get hot if, uh, say, if you run the unit just sitting still stationary, especially inside the house. And um, to unfold it is very easy. On the side, one, you move these out first, the ones at the top, and the ones in the bottom curl down like that. There you go. To remove the camera lens you simply pop it out see it has two little notches on the top and they fold in 
they click up in here and it snaps in. Now remove that for now. Your battery will go in the rear, right here. This moves up right there. Very easy. And your battery only goes in one way. So let me remove a battery from my charger. Now I'll insert one right now. Here's a battery charger. This is with the Fly More kit. So we just simply push that clip in and remove the battery, just like that. To insert the battery, as I said, it only goes in one way, but notice right here you have your pins here at the top, and they're gonna mate with the pins here on the top. So just make sure that that's sitting on the top there, and then insert your battery. It clips right in, just like that, and you close the door. It's that simple. I should mention too that uh, you have a power button right here and uh, to turn it in on you press it once then press and hold and you hear it move then it's on you hear it beeping these led lights you see flashing that's a very cool feature i like that you can set the different colors within the app i chose these colors here okay the turning unit off you press once then press a second time and hold and let go it's off The battery charger, if you look on the side, has a power button, has a USB-C and a regular USB-3 port here. Use the USB-C for charging. You can plug this into a power bank via one of these cables here. Or you can plug it into an AC adapter, which comes with it, and then plug this into the wall. And you get all the cables that you need in the kit, so you don't have to run out and purchase any. You have the controller, which is really neat. Really feels good in the hand, it's solid. And in the back of the unit, you have your joysticks. You just unclip them and you screw them in. You also want to charge this up or you start using it. And uh, you know that it's charged up when all four LEDs are lit up. When you press the power button once, it shows you the level of the charge on the unit. Press and hold second time, the unit turns on. The unit has three modes. It has what's called a cine mode, a normal mode, and a sport mode. The cine mode is basically where you're taking cinematic shots, but it's just a slow mode. The drone flies slow. The normal mode is just normal, and the sport mode is fast. Um, starting off, I recommend using city mode. That's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to take this out and try it out, and then I'll work up to normal and sport mode on some later dates. I'm going to turn it off. So you tap once, then tap a second time and hold and it powers off. Now I'm going to insert a phone here so you can see how that's done. I have an old iPhone 6. You can see it's pretty beaten up. It's not even charged up, but I do know it works. But uh, to demonstrate how to mount uh, your phone onto the uh, controller, I'm going to use this. So what you want to do is grab the top and pull that handle out. And you see down in there, right down in here, uh, there's a cable. Both sides are connected. You grab the left one and pull it out and wrap it around and put it, put it in the back. And your phone 
we'll sit on these grooves here. So you got some grooves right there and on the other side. So I have this like in a little case, but it'll still work. I'll put it on there, then move this up and it secures right on there. Then take the cable that you put in the back there and snap it in. That's it. Now, if you have an Android or have a phone that has a different type of cable setup, you'll get some extra cables. Let me set this down. DJI gives you extra cables that you can put in the controller. You will simply remove the cable that's already in there. There's a connection right there and a connection there. And you put in the appropriate cable for your particular device. All right, to stow this, just simply snap that uh, cable right back down in there. Then push this down. And when you're ready, when you're finished, just remove the joysticks and you uh, put them in their appropriate slots. Okay, so that's the controller. And again, I'll talk more about this on another video and show you my settings, the ones that I like. Now in the, the case, you will get some spare propellers. You'll get uh, some spare joysticks and a little jeweler's Phillips screwdriver because the propellers on the drone, they don't snap in and out. So you have to use a screwdriver to remove them if you need to replace one, but I like that. Also, what came with uh, the Fly More kit is um, this uh, mold controller monitor hood. And what this is, in fact, let me show you. I took it out of the box. It's this right here. And what it does, it fits over the controller to shield uh, the glare hitting your phone. So it's just a glare shield, that's all it is. I might, I might not use it. It also came, uh, and I was surprised that this came with it. This is a, uh, I never heard of this before, but this is a charging display base. And the way this works is, is once the phone is folded back up and you set it inside there to charge it. This also gives me an opportunity to show how to uh, fold this back up. So the first thing I'm gonna do, because I'm gonna charge it up, is remove the battery. And I'll put that back in the charger. I'll close that up. Now to secure this, you do just the opposite. You do number two first. See, here's this number two. So you fold that down. The other side, same thing. Just fold it down. And then the ones in the, on the top, Fold those back. You'll get used to it. Okay, and then next the clip, we're gonna put that back on. I have it here. So the way I do it is I turn the unit upside down. And the camera, I take note of where the camera is. And I try to get these sort of crisscrossed like that. Okay. Now with the clip, what you will notice here is that there's a slot right there and right there that fits right in there, right below the camera. It'll pop right in here real nice now. See, one of the propellers popped out, so I'm going to tuck it back in there. Okay, like that. Flip it over. Make sure the propellers on the top are tucked under there. 
then rotate to the side and you will see there's a hole right there my thumb is left thumb right there and snap it in okay you can go back and readjust it if you like but it's there then I'll take the camera cover you'll notice that there are two clips at the very top up there see them right there those face forward and go under so let's get those in there and lastly the kit also came with uh, some propeller guards and I might use these on occasion say if I'm out flying on a windy day which normally I won't do but if I had to I'll put out these propeller guards because the drone is so light a very stiff wind could blow it um, into a tree or something but uh, when you're out there you want to make sure that you're clear of any obstructions so uh, everything that I need is uh, in the kit okay next to using the battery bank to charge your batteries and putting them inside your drone you can also insert a battery inside of the drone like I have here and then plug in a USB-C cable connected to a power bank or an AC adapter and I have uh, one right here plugged into an AC adapter off camera and I plugged into the USB-C port and you see the lights on there so this is another way to charge your battery with it inserted inside the drone now another way is this charging display base over here so let me show you that using this very same cable and that's what's nice about it uh, with this um, system you really only need one type of cable to charge up everything that's the USB-C so what I'm gonna do I'm going to open this up and I'm going to plug the cable here into the port here, the USB-C port. And as you can see, it lights up. That doesn't do anything. That's just for aesthetics. It makes it look pretty. Then I will insert the drone. And it only goes in one way. As you can see here, you've got these grooves. You have these grooves here, one here, and they're going to fit in these two slots right here. Okay. So I'm going to set this down. I'm going to turn this off. So it's in a slot. And this smoke gray dome this makes it look pretty that's all it is and there you go I mean it looks nice okay so that's it so what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna go ahead and put some shoes on and head on down to a park near me and uh, see if I can put this thing in the air and fly it without uh, crashing it so I'll talk at you in a few okay before I go out I'm gonna show you how I charge up my units I'm such a geek I have a wrath uh, power power bank back here I've inserted the uh, third battery I removed it from the drone put it into the charger and I simply uh, just plug in to the RAF power power bank I highly recommend them they're very good so there we go and I can see right now that uh, two of my batteries are already charged the one I just removed from the phone is charging right now so I'll set that back there and on the controller it's the same thing I just take the USB-C cable plug it in and when those four LEDs stop blinking and they're all green this will be charged up wish me luck hope I don't crash the thing mm -hmm. 